I'm Tyler from Viavi, and I'm here with Wolfgang, one of our senior product managers from the fiber optic division. And we're at OSC 2016, and we're here to talk about our new OLP88 Trupon tester. Now, Wolfgang, passive optical networks have been around for a good 10 to 15 years, and you've been working with service providers throughout that time. What are some of the challenges that you've seen these service providers face during PON installations? Yeah, PON is considered to be the most promising technology to uh, bridge the bandwidth gap to the home business and mobile backhaul. So with the evolution from uh, GPON to XGPON and NGPON2, there are quite a few challenges coming up. Uh, one of them is definitely the dirty connectors. So there you find a lot of dirty connectors. And uh, the other thing is to uh, allocate the correct and reliable test results according to what is required by the standards. So. Uh, most of the operators are, are having another challenge. Uh, they are facing a lack of uh, fiber experts oh, yeah. and the gap of, of the skill set of, uh, of the contractors and installers. So that together makes them uh, uh, eager to find a solution which is very simple to use, it's yeah. foolproof and provides resu reliable results. Yeah. So how has this impacted things in terms of testing? Well, as dirty connectors are playing a dominant role in, in terms of testing, I consider to have fiber inspection as a mandatory requirement for future test instruments. And uh, the lack of fiber experts uh, at the operators uh, requires for foolproof, easy and reliable test instruments without the need of, of manual interference and test uh, setup. So that's for sure a requirement. Recently, uh, some leading edge uh, operators come to us and ask us uh, whether we could provide some uh, simplified and easy solution for them in terms of testing. So there is a new standard which is called a PON ID standard uh, which provides information about the PON system itself and uh, by using this information it simplifies uh, testing significantly because we can derive test requirements from the PON ID and therefore uh, giving um, out of pass fail threshold settings without the interference of uh, those uh, technicians. That definitely simplifies uh, the, uh, uh, the testing. Uh, we are realizing that uh, the current tools do not provide this kind of uh, functionality. Yeah, so that brings us to the OLP88 Trupon tester. Um, this is the latest addition to the Smart Class Fiber family, so just like the others, you get those benefits of integrated fiber inspection you were talking about, uh, really easy to intuitively operate and also really drive workflow. And it seems like these capabilities are well suited towards GPON. But what's unique about the ULP88 that really takes GPON testing to the next level? Well, uh, the OP88, it's a true PON tester. It's more than a pure PON power meter. We are the first time using a new GPON data analysis and the GPON data analysis provides uh, the functionality to extract the information about uh, the PON system from the PON ID, providing auto pass fail threshold setting and uh, giving uh, a simplified uh, user interface. Uh, on top of that, uh, the PON ID uh, provides other information enabling in-service loss test that's the first time uh, you are able to do an in-service uh, optical distribution network qualification. On top, uh, the cheap and data analysis provides another information which is very valuable for uh, the operators. That's the serial number of the ONT. So wh why is the serial number important? The serial number of the ONT is a unique identification of each and every ONT. So uh, you won't find a, a, a duplicate serial number. And the serial number is the unique identification of the ONT and the service contract the customer does with the operator. So we can check the uh, activation process of the ONT and that's, that's something very valuable. Can you explain what you mean by activation process? Well, the activation process is used to allow an inactive ONT to join or resume an, uh, in, in the pond, okay. in the operations of, of, of the pond. Uh, the activation process gives you a status of the activation and that tells you whether the ONT is working properly, so it's so-called activated, whether the ONT is registered, that means the ONT serial number is known to the OLT, which provides then the functionality to send and receive data from the OLT, 
and whether the OLT is, uh, ONT is properly working. That means uh, whether it's uh, sending in, in the right time slot. And if that's not the case, it's going to be disabled. So what about after the network is active? Um, are there any challenges there? Uh, yes, there are. Uh, many operators came to us and say, uh, we are facing a problem with some alien or rogue ONTs. What does that mean, rogue or alien ONTs? Well, uh, some of the customers are connecting devices which are not ONTs. So the devices such as uh, media uh, converters are connected to the pond, and those media converters are sending uh, in a continuous wave upstream uh, data. And this, as it's done in a continuous wave, is interfering with other ONTs and degrading the service. So the OLP88 leverage is leading at technology to make it easier for any technician to speed up uh, the installation and testing of GPO networks. That's it is. Well, thank you, Wolfgang. Appreciate you taking the time today and talking about this. Uh, it really is an innovative product. For more information, you can visit us at viavisolutions.com. Thanks for watching.